Hello everyone, welcome back to the channel. I am back with another interesting SQL question. So this is a elite code hard problem. The problem name is human traffic of a stadium. So this is our input table and this is our output table, the second table. Okay. So the table is there is a stadium and there is uh, it is telling on which date how many number of people visited that stadium. So on first July there were ten people. On second July one zero nine and similarly. So we have data for a few dates and we have this running number also one two three four five six seven this this is present in table itself we will make use of it so the question is write a query to display records which have three or more consecutive rows with the amount of people more than 100 100 or more than 100 what does that mean so we want we have to find rows three or more rows where number of people are greater than 100 right so for example if we look at this row this is like less than 100 so this is of no use right now this is more than 100 more than 100 but here it is less than 100 so this doesn't qualify these rows right here if you see there are four consecutive rows where the number of people is greater than 100 right so this qualifies for the output so this is what the output is five six seven eight because they that there are three or more rows where number of people are greater than or equal to 100 so this is what we have to write a query for okay so generally we need a running number for this table we already have if we didn't have this id we could have generated a row number on full table but we have it so we are not going to do anything now second thing is we need a filter where number of people greater than or equal to 100 because we are interested only on those rows where it is greater than 100 right let me run this so we have these rows coming two three right and then we have these rows right now the interesting thing is if the rows are consecutive the ids will also be consecutive right five six seven eight see two three and then nothing is there right but here if you see five six seven eight these are consecutive and what i'm going to do i'm going to generate one more row number on the filters data and i'll i'll show you how it will be useful order by visit date as let's say rn okay i'm going to run it again so we have this id already running number two three and this is five six seven eight now here we have this running number one two three four five six now interesting thing is if the numbers are consecutive and these numbers are also consecutive so if i subtract a consecutive number from a consecutive number the difference will be same for example five minus three will be two 6 minus 4 will be 2, 7 minus 5 will be 2, 8 minus 6 will be 2. So the difference of these two will be 2, right? Here if you see 2 minus 1, 1, 3 minus 2, 1. So if for these two, the difference is 1, right? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to create one more column where I will say id minus this row number. S, let's say group. And let's run it again. Okay, so I have created a group. You see, these two rows are falling in one group, and these four rows now are falling in one group, group number two. Right? And I can just do group by on two and say if the record is greater or equal to three, then those are the records we need. Right? So, what I'm going to do, let's create a CT with group number as this and select select star uh, from group number right group by grb having count of one greater than equal to three right so this okay let me do count first and then i will put this condition Having condition, I will just comment for now. I'll show you. Select group count one. So there are two groups, group one and group two, right? So if I run this, so I'm getting group one and group two. The count is two and count is four. For group one, count is two. For group two, count is four. We are interested only in group four. So I will put having count one is greater than three greater than equal to 3. So I will get group number 2. So I need data of group 2 only. 
So what I'm going to do just, I'll say, I will use this as filter. So I'll say, select star from group number, right, where group in, and we want only this group, whatever is qualifying this, right? Sorry, along with having, and this column we don't need, count one. So I'll just remove it, right, and run this. If you see, we got those four records only, right? If you need only three columns, you can select only three columns in the output. ID, visit date, and number of people. That's it. And here's our output, what is required. I hope this makes sense. Let me know if you have any better solution or if you have any confusion. So what we have done, I will just repeat it. We have row number. We generated row number on filter data. On non-filter data, we already had ID. Now we said that if there are two consecutive numbers and they are, uh, if we find a difference, then it will be same. So one, two, three, four, and two, three, four, five. So these are two consecutive rows, right? Consecutive columns. If we find a difference, the difference will be same. And that difference we are grouping on and saying if it is greater or equal to three, which means those are consecutive days, three or more, where people, there are more than 100 people, right? Hope it makes sense. Thanks for watching. Uh, do like the video and comment if you have any questions. Have a good day. Bye.